questions like, what does it feel like being so far away from the family? Trust me. Sometimes you need that time people to hug you and hug you and then see familiar faces around you and then makes um, life easy, everyday life easy. But then there comes a time when you have to get up and go do what you got to do and then come back home. So, you know, um, that's just that for me. And then she also says, do you ever feel lonely? Yes, I do feel uh, lonely. Um, I don't think there's ever so there's someone out there um, somewhere who doesn't feel lonely. No animals feel lonely. Um, where be it um, often or rarely, we all feel lonely. I do, <laughs> especially in the world today. <laughs> yes, I do. I do feel lonely. Um, do you have any regrets moving from Nigeria? Mm. No, no. Uh, it's not about what. It's not about where I'm moving from, but to where I'm moving. I've always wanted to move. Fuck for the road is the word I used to use for 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 the sentence I used to use. Um, excuse my, excuse my French. Um, I've always wanted to see the world, so I have no regrets whatsoever. You know, I wanted to be not to. I still have places I still want to go, and you know, have it um, for a little while at least. I want to see the world. From my half eye first to me. Uh, get down you can do it whitey <laughs> so um back to tenny so tenny also asked me what are the things they don't tell you about living abroad that you found out the hard way yourself mm. you know i see that some people some of my people back home be like ah, let us come and find out for ourselves first so i guess if you're experiencing things first time is always the best or even i mean it's a good way to learn learning also the best Ah, uh, it's that the greener, the grass is green, always greener on the other side. The grass is greener when you water the grass. I'm just going to keep it that simple. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, you just just to play ball and find out, you know, actually what you need best. You know, I just gotta keep it you know, simple and move on to the next one. Uh, um, so it's that the grass is greener on the other side. The grass is greener when you water the grass. I hope that explains it. And then lastly, hmm, she goes, um, what are your short-term goals? Short-term goals, mm, I used to start saying that or think long and hard before I can find the words to say, but no, not even. This is that, this girl, this queen, this woman, <laughs> she now knows what matters to her most in the world. Um, without having to you know, think to wake me up in the middle of the night, I'm going to say it to you like offhand. Uh, my short term goals are, I can just say two for now, is finding my balance against all odds. You can say whatever when it comes to me, that's what it is. And also maintaining, maintaining, and with holding, holding on to my joy, regardless of where I find myself in life, it's important. Because that's the only thing. Both things are what I'm going to learn to me, whatever I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to say. Thank you so much, Teddy Baby. I love you. You always broke my back, but I love you still. Um, the next responder and question is on the topic we go to Kenny Superman, aka Andre Zai, the owner, the originator, <laughs> and the artist singing the song that I'm playing right now. And he just sent it to me just I think about a few minutes ago, like just in time, just in time for me. So um, I don't, I'm not sure if the uh, if it's all or if it's out on all musical platforms or for now, but you can look him up on Instagram at I am Andre Zai, Andre and then Z and then Hi Andre Zai, and then you can all, you can find it. You can you know DM me or reach out to me and I can connect. He's a great artist and my baby is going places. Just don't forget when you get there. <laughs> uh, so um, he goes. So here, oh, so here it goes. As a young, beautiful lady, oh my god, you know, I really feel like dancing. That song, uh, my playlist today, um, usually my face is all plays, or is always all, uh, all over the place. I mean, cuts across all genres of music, but I'm a great, I'm a lover of music, so whatever genre, whatever language, I'm down, you know. I am all for the, the, the heart, the, the mind, and the soul of music. Sometimes the body, because sometimes it depends on the mood. Sometimes I'm I'm a I'm a little bad thing, yeah. So, uh, but today it's about uh, momentum, yeah. So it's, the songs in my playlist right now, songs that that are making me feel hot, that making me chill or cool down. You know, that's that's why I'm going all over my songs like that. 
So um, Andre was just calling me beautiful young lady. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He said, um, as a beautiful, as a young beautiful lady, uh, lady migrant in the U.S., how regular slash irregular is your dating life? <laughs> Do you ever get people of the other race blowing up your DM, or is is or is it limited, or is limited to just um, our fellow African brothers? Brothers, does their discriminative tendencies also affect their romantic views regarding African descent? <laughs> And the poop, poop, poop in my hair. Woo! <laughs> I'm thinking somebody's gonna be like, when it comes to dating, she will be loud. She will be loud. Woo! That's that's a brilliant one. That Andre's question. Yeah, and this song, this is one of yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, let me read the question. How loud it came real quick. Um, I feel like I should turn up the music at this at this point. I'm feeling you know, this question got me pumped up all the way again. So I'm going to read that again. I'm sorry. And so Andre says, um, as a young beautiful lady migrant in the US, how regular slash irregular is your dating life? Do you ever get people of the other race blowing up your DM or, or it's limited to just our fellow African brothers? Does their discriminative tendencies also affect their romantic views regarding African? Trust me, this is a deep one. I even if I say it deserves a segment on its own, but like, trust me, <laughs> if it is, first and foremost, my dating life <laughs> zero. Yeah, deserves a four over ten. I guess we try. Um, I only present to just be the part of myself and my. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I played too much. I recently just made a part of myself to be date for. Yeah. yeah, I mean it when I say that. Uh, so, Munan, um, uh, Munoga mostly. The whole, you know, date more. So, this question is a very interesting one. Um, yes, I know to you, whatever. So, do I ever get people of other race going up on here? Oh, yes, boys. To brag. People from India send me and they send me the on here. Like, my IG, especially, doesn't say exactly where I am. I trust me, let me tell you something. There is an, there is an American guy that I've been chatting with. Um, we followed each other sometimes last year and then we've kept, uh, you know, like as civil, as friendly, as nice conversations you can online. You know, comment on my page, comment here, hello, you know, stuff like that. Only for him to uh, last week had to. He didn't mention he was going to Nigeria last minute, so I was like, "Wow, I wish I could travel. I wish I could be taking him with me." He didn't get the memo apparently that I'm not in Nigeria. Only for him to now ask me about a week later, like, "Where exactly are you based in Nigeria?" I'm like, "I'm in the states," and he's like, "Wow, are you serious?" So my what I was trying to say there is, um, I don't really think my IG, my page says exactly where I am right now in the world, except for very few, very few posts that maybe you see white people passing by. Of course, oh, there are white people in Nigeria, there are white people in Africa, so it could be anywhere. So that's about that. Even before I left Nigeria, I get DMs from people from all over the world. I think that's just social media for me, though maybe they are fake accounts or what have you, but you know, I don't know. So they don't know me too anyway. So, but I think I, I, that uh, having said, I think what um, Andre meant to say, I think what you mean to say is, do I get people approach me in real life? You can compare online. Anybody can approach anybody online. People meet each other online, marry across uh, borders, across um, continents. You know. So I think the real issue would be in real life. Did they stop in the street? Did they still say hello to me? <laughs> Did they ask me? Did they still ask me the number? And let me go through that question again. Yes, yes. It's not limited to Africa, but that's online. Yeah. 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 So discriminative tendencies. Yeah, uh, it's not easy actually. But yes, thing. Are you sure I'm not giving the problem? <laughs> ah, yes, thing. Uh, it's like I said. That's a sensitive topic too. Yes, I know. Um, I get uh, people, American guys. Um, like, okay, so I've met some guys that I liked. That I feel like. Let me just see some guys who that is it. <laughs> Let me not single that right thing or whatever. So, but I met like I met certain people that I like, and then I would feel like, or oh, I get a feeling or a sense that me, my being African, is why they are expecting me to talk with like 
like you got video. I'm shooting my shots on day in day out. <laughs> I mean, not often, but it's like very few times. Um, because trust me, um, I've been treated in a, in a discriminative way, especially in Malaysia, whatever. So, um, I've, I've, or should I say, I've experienced racism in the world. So, uh, maybe that made me feel like the reason why this person is holding that. And you know why? Even the racism part, even even if there were to be that were to be true, maybe that's the reason why they're holding that. It's because of um, maybe it's because they're in mis in ill informed or lack of information there about about Africa. Because I guess some people that eventually talk to me, they be like, "Oh, how can you, how come you speak English or how come you're so learned?" And I'm like, "Yo, please, where do you think Africa is?" Everywhere, every country, every continent has a suburban area, has a rural area, what have you. But what they think, they, what I think they've been fed with is information about the rural areas. Not everyone comes from the rural part, you know, or, or, or the, the, the countryside. Yeah, so, but that's just that. So, but I feel, but if they've chosen to be mis, misinformed or ill informed or ignorant, that's your choice. So, I, I don't think at this point in my life I'm going to feel bad because a certain guy does not. Um, have the guts, I'm sorry to say, or the gumption to 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 dig deeper and you know delve deeper into my onion soul, my onion heart. Like there's more to me than meets the eye. I'm more than just African, although I'm African and black, but you know, in a way I think you understand what I'm saying. So yeah, that too, that too. I I could be wrong though. They just might not be attracted to me or like me personally. You know, but whatever the case may be, it is what it is. The racism part is definitely is there. And I've had some guys who are coasted me or she got, I will call it a coast. The manner with which they approached me was as like they looked at the it's in a condescending manner that they feel like oh she should be happy and giddy that an American guy is talking to her. Oh, you know when <laughs> but you know I've had it all the time and then especially on the job and then when I take offense at the way and manner you approach me and then they, they want to look at me like you should be grateful or glad that I'm talking to you trust me about I've had I've had experiences like that. So they even tell me things like you even know that I'm trying to touch you because you probably have some disease from Africa. So this is a personal experience I'm telling you. So that too is part of me and then that too has made me conscious to that okay you don't like me. So you think I like everything about you? Yeah. I also have my own narrative about the way I see uh, the American relationship or uh, whatever ship you're doing with people. It's a two-way two way, it's a two way road, two way traffic. You can never be one sided. So you don't think I have any issue with American people with some American ways to you know we have what the cultural gap, the distance, you know, the different OT, you know, uh, the the AMO, the modus operandi. It's quite different. So, but if I'm willing to let go of that, somebody wants to hold on to it. I should be, like I said, it's too late. I have to be willing to let go of what I think or compromise or reach a middle ground with the other person. Then he has to be willing to do the same thing. Whether I come from a rural part of Africa or not, or whether I come from the suburb area, you know, it doesn't have to matter. Like people have married each other, but even while the person was far from the other person, not necessarily when one migrated to the other place. So please, I think uh, mature-minded people. I only fuck with my own minds. Trust me, that's it. Uh, but I had some other American guys who genuinely felt me like, I mean, who might feel like at least a genuine interest that they have a genuine interest in me and then things don't work out with me necessarily. That is more than just you liking me. You know, it is more than just you liking me. My physical appearance is me getting to know what your mindset is all about. So, you know, also just not working. Things not working out. So that too, you know, I get it's half and half. That's just like life is the good and the bad. But why focus on the bad when you can have the good? So please. I'm sure some Yankee boys feel me somewhere. You know, we see each other now. We sound bad, but they feel me like you feel me, I feel you. Don't feel me, I don't feel you. Fuck with me, I'm fuck with you. You fuck with me, I'm fuck with you. On period too. On period. No, no, no. It's a two-way thing, you know. So I don't think I'm going to be stuck on you. Liking somebody who doesn't like me. Hmm. I move and give room for the other person who likes me. And like I said, um, it's a two way thing. You know, for it, for me, myself, for myself and I, to be honest, I sometimes hope when that thing happens, I hope it's with um, somebody, sometimes hope 
that is with somebody of my race of my language said because you know it's just sometimes it's just the things we the way we've been brought up and then sometimes the easy one is we feel is convenient to get with the easy one somebody we have to necessarily have to translate our soul or our learning our culture with but what's the fun in that what's the fun in familiarity sometimes i've met some african brothers over here that they've been acting so much childish and we'll be embarrassed by uncle uh-uh. Your words, you're black, you're African. Why are you like this? Where's your gumption? Why are you acting like you have have no gumption? You all, I mean, not you of all people, because anybody can, any human being can, can, to her, his woman, yeah? But you know, so it just goes to say that um, race aside, people are just people. To be honest, they can strip people, strip the skin away. The people, it's still the same blood and the same whatever. It's still people. So, you know, so, but we always want to call in the fact that they feel bad that it's an, it's an American guy or a white guy or, or a Russian guy, whatever guy. But our own people do it too. We do it to each other too. So, for me, it's beyond just a black American or, black or, or, or a, a, a black African or an African. So, uh, it's, it's, it's more than that for me. It's more than you could... I'm a sucker for good just by itself. <laughs> you and mom's super slow. I love good stuff too. I love black men magic. Oh, please. But uh, beyond that is getting to see, know the person. Who you are, know what you are. What you are means, what you are is your beautiful. What you are is your handsome. You need to know who you are. You need to know the engine running that body. I don't want just some fancy body, no engine. No disrespect to anybody. <laughs> That's me. Moi. That's my preference. You know, I need some brains to go with that bronze. To do with that bronze. I need some, some, some mind to go with that body. You know what I mean? Strong and high intellect. Spiritually dope. Mentally high. You know what I mean? See, body can be fixed. When I say fixed, not necessarily surgery. A guy can, anybody can walk out. Trust me, I believe, regardless of what anybody wants to say, because they have excuses, that's just their making an excuse. Mm, I know. But any guy can walk out good. You can turn any guy from no pack to six packs, you know, whether you buy it or whether you work for it. But see this thing. <laughs> Maga, <laughs> my kind of thought and thing. Oh, I'm not. you get why? It's very, very, see, sometimes eh, when people are still dumb in their, in dumb in their mid adult or early adult years, Chances are they can never have sex again for just with that. Mom, I didn't say anything though. Who am I to say to, play, to, to, to pronounce them forever dumb? But some issues, when it's left to fester for far too long, become stagnant. While I'm busy at this age trying to grow mentally and then, you know, be the best of person I can be so that by the time whoever meets me, meets me, I'm not just a, something that needs to be fixed up or from the scratch. Like I'm there. Like it's like you're working on it. He's working on your day. He's almost there. You're almost there. And then you know, it's, if I, it's not anybody's job to get me there. It's my job to fix to get my own self sense. You know what I mean? So beyond your body, I mean your nationality, and your looks. What else do you have to do to me? I understand. I know what I'm saying. I'm not mad. People define whatever they want themselves. I'm defining what I want myself. So beyond all of that is what I think you have to offer me mentally and spiritually. You know, financial is not equally important. You know, I've been working on getting it back, so we cannot be lazy. Oma, Skinny Superman, aka Andrews, I hope that answers your question. I hope at least I didn't deflect too much and lose my way. I hope you still get the idea of what I'm trying to say. It's 50-50. See, regardless of who the person is, People find love from everywhere, you know, people from India, date people in Africa, get married, people, you know, vice versa. So don't let anybody belittle you just because of your, because of what you're into. No, no, don't, don't, anybody don't like you, don't like them too, if it gives you peace of mind. Just, it's that simple, so I'm, I'm too busy. I ain't guys that hide, they be worried about people, what, they think being African is contagious or what, skin, I don't, that's me, no. They go the other way, I go the other way. When you see me, you miss me. Miss me for real. You know, avoid me. Let's avoid each other. <laughs> so, thank you, Hadre, Azad. If any, like, I spent my 
when I didn't know better, I'm pining after people who really think less of me. For some reason, I just think I'm not worthy of them. I'm a whole back again. As in there. Baby, get. <laughs> is it fine? Hmm? Is it fine? And a pocket full of wisdom. Eh? I mean, all jokes apart, but to be honest, yeah, like um, I've been there and then it was exhausting and draining. And then I spent way too long waiting and waiting for you to see my work. You know my work. You don't think I'm good for you. I'm not going to be good for anybody. So everybody's not going to be good for me. So you give me that sound. I move. Even, I mean, trust me, guys, but too. Me, I've had all, I've had different races, you know, uh, approach me, you know, maybe for friendship reasons or for the other reasons. Eh? I mean, no okay. I'm too picky. <laughs> Why? Because uh, I'm not in a rush. I know what I'm looking for when I see it. So, until I see it, I don't care. Really. So, I mean, that's just that. No damage is done to anybody who thinks uh, being African is uh, it's a disease or makes, um, makes me less of an intellect. Uh, yeah, intellect, intellect or intellectual person. But I won't know more. I'm not even going to tell you, find out, find out. Why would I beg you to find out? If you cannot relate, don't find out to me. Learn about Africa or find out to learn about me. And if you cannot see, buy glasses so you can help you see me for who I am and not my color. Yeah, oh my goodness, it's been a journey for me today. You guys don't believe how long I spent recording this, taking unnecessary breaks in between. You get why? I hope, I really hope God you know, blesses me and then you know, help me fulfill my dreams. My biggest fear is dying without all, all the life that I feel inside me. The way I'll be feeling this thing crashed through my veins, and it's, it's shaking me, so I'm sure it's going to shake some people. <laughs> so please, uh, all the resources that I need, I pray God gives it to me. Anybody out there struggling to make something better out of, out of their life and trying to you know, chase their dreams or live their life full sale, I hope God helps them and give them all the resources that they need as well. So lastly is from Ani Samson. <laughs> this one right here. Tall, handsome, babies. Eh? Like, I got some mad babies. Eh? If you look behind me, come on. Gang, gang, as in it. <laughs> Battalion and something, yeah? Even the it's, it's picture that I'm looking at now is dope. Um, so are my babies, so I've seen all of them. Uh, so um, it goes by Anigi underscore Samson on Instagram. Uh, K -K -K -Lexi, as I as I fondly call it. Uh, his question is, um, is uh, he says, what are the things you do when you feel things isn't going your way? Mm. I like the fact that, you know, I treated a serious subject, definitely through the highlights. I mean, what I call the highlights, I mean, the cruising part, which is from, 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 from Andresa and then went to another, you know, uh, I think he underscore Samson on Instagram. Uh, what are the things I do when I feel things are going my way? Okay, one thing, first and foremost, I think I would have, what I do, I'm sure I've mentioned in, you know, part of my segment today, in one conversation or the other, because why? You need to just find a mode, uh, a mode of, uh, a way of life and stick to it. And fi find the yardstick with which you comfortably measure your life with, you know, by yourself, you know, not using other people's yardstick. And then it's going to help. Life is interwoven, kind of. So, and it's going to help you in your every area and aspect of life. So, first thing is, why dwell on the negatives? It's not easy. Okay, I can cry. When when it's time for me to cry, I cry. When it's time for me to yell, I yell it. When it's time for me to curse it, I Or even when I dwell on it, I try, I try to make sure that I take out the message of, okay, so things is not going the way I want it to go. What other ways they have done it? It's like, look for the solution in, 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 in it. Like, they have done it, you know, it's like, I should have maybe taken this route. I took this route. So I took this route, things didn't turn out well. How can I change, trace back my, trace my step, or maybe is there any way or less way that I can cause someone to be says, you know, you still gotta analyze things, you know, you know, you know, over, you know, check things, see where you missed, see what you missed, and you know, see what you can do. And then if it's something beyond my control, what can I do? What can I do is beyond my control? That's the question I ask myself every time I see it. Is what can you do? Can you fix it? I fix it. Can you know if it's beyond your control? Leave it to somebody that can fix it. Someone that fixes things that are beyond everything. And shall we all master this together? Be the woman. <laughs> all jokes aside, you know, just learn to do it. Just do it. 
like always look at certain situations that you thought I'm sure before that conflict you had other situations you thought you could not get over but one way or the other you were able to stay with it you were able to stay with it so apply the same energy apply the same faith and believe in the master place in God you know just sit and watch God and give the best way possible you'll be wow that God will give you ah uh, that boy see he'll be moving this man can move this man will be moving things to the end of his life thank God thank you thank God and finally finally we've come to the end of today's segment I think we're getting more happy like I'm starving I think we are starving and we are shaking see so far and then I need to get some food and eat like a thief I lounge around because I'm even scared to get to you know put into the production part because I have my work cut out from because we have tons of videos you know it's this time I wish I had the third day but maybe somebody is going to apply for that job only for one day two days maybe just like two days I feel like I should just dump my memory card in and give somebody my SD card and have them do the fixing and then have to post them today because my babies are waiting to get reports and maybe um, hot as well. As they as they hot now, nah. and while it's still juicy, yeah, yeah while it's still juicy, you know what I mean. So I, I also would love for me for it to be posted today, so, so I can get my mind off with that. Okay, I did it, I'm done. And maybe after resting, I might get to it. So thank you very much for everybody that contributed to this segment. Thank you so much for people who keep believing in me, even when I want to stop believing in the audacity of my babies, the ones who came through though it was late already. You know, we still have more to go. So until next time. Uh, when it's next time, I can't say, but I, I would say, hopefully, I'm hoping, you know, soon. Time factor, grant, and be considered, or whatever resource factor, I hope it's soon. I hope it's soon. I feel like I really want to connect with everybody. It's something I can't help but want to do. And for, if I really want to be that bad, it's that my baby is what they want me to do. It. And, you know, until next time, we'll see your girl, J. Imani, in the making. Imani Asada Safari, you know what I mean? AKA Fabs Cartel, AKA Poppy Energy, AKA Big Little Baby Girl, <laughs> AKA 